Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Mohit and I will be walking you through the awesome application called Terminator, the Terminal Manager and which probably is inspired from the movie Terminator. And I'm a big fan of Terminator. So I believe you also enjoyed this movie. So I'm creating this video after a long time. I was busy with my personal life. Uh, now I'm back and hopefully you like my content. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel and please inspire me to create more videos. So in this video, I will be walking you through the Terminator application. So let us understand what is Terminator. Oh, the Terminator is a terminal emulator, just like you have Xterm console, etc. For example, in my Linux machine, I have console and it is the terminal application that is default with KDE. The advantage of using Terminator that I would show you today is that you can arrange terminals in a grid light structure. You can have tabs, you can have drag and drop and lots of keyboard shortcuts. It's such a good tool if you're working with terminal and it is extensible through plugins. Now, without any further ado, let's get started with Terminator. So just a heads up if you want to install Terminator, let me just please, you can just type, oh yeah sudo app get install terminator and that's it you are done installing terminator i have already installed terminator so i don't need to install it so i'll just clear the screen and open terminator so the window and this is the terminator window now this is the splash screen or the main window you have the width and the height the cursor you can configure it if you just do a right click, you will be provided with the preferences. I will just give you a brief walkthrough of the preferences. So you'll have the window state. You can have normal, hidden, maximize, full screen, whatever you want to get as default. You have the mouse focus. So suppose you click it and it would focus that particular uh, terminal window. And then you have the broadcast default. It's group. And then you have a putty style paste. That is, if you right click, it will paste. So, or you have the clipboard functionality. So you can have all other functions here. You can go through all of these. All of these. You have the terminal separator size. You have window borders. You have font colors, fonts, etc. Then you have profiles. You can create multiple profiles for different type of work. You have layout, key bindings, plugins, and then the about. And this application is an open source application and it's mentioned the robot feature of terminals. So let's go about it. So I told you about installing Terminator. If you are using CentOS or Red Hot, I have provided the details in the description box. You can go through it. I've also provided the link to the Git repository that I've created for this specific video. And if you want, you can contribute to it as well. And I've, it's highly appreciated. Now let's talk about the functionality of Terminator starting with the keyboard shortcut. If you want to have a new instance, it's very simple. You just need to press the Windows key and I, that is super plus I, it will give you a new instance. So this is a new instance. It is some, it is something similar to new window. That is shift and control and I. So this is a new window. So you can see when you open new windows, you will have a arrow or you can say a identifier that it is the second or third window for terminator you can also utilize tabs so shift control and tab or shift control or tree signifies tab and it can open multiple tabs in any instance and it will be very helpful All right if you want to close a tab you can use shift control w and it will close the tab and if there are no other tabs left you press it to close the window itself so i can close all these extra windows now with shift control and w so that is done all right coming back to square one now i've opened tab i've opened windows this is just a common functionality right of all the terminal applications now let's make things a bit interesting let us split this terminal into two parts and I can do it by shift control O and you can see I vertically split this terminal into two different terminals and you can see this is completely a new 
I would say terminal tab or window, whatever you can uh, term it as. And this is another terminal window here. All right, I can just create it as oh, horizontal split. Oh, now you can term it as horizontal vertical depending upon how you see it. But I can create a grid of two by two by just splitting these windows. I can make it full screen by pressing F11 and this provides me a beautiful view of a screen where I can use multiple applications. For example, I can just do my work here. I can just have a stop. I can just have any other, I would say monitoring application here. Probably if I'm doing a build here, if I'm doing some sort of ping here, for example, I can just type ping google.com and it, I can just you know, try to ping it. If I press F11 again, the full screen uh, would be reverted. Now I can resize this, these terminals with shift control and left. So you can just make it, you can say wider, make it smaller. I can increase it vertically as well. So the key point to note is that it works on the window that I have focused on. So now this window has been focused. So I can work on this one or this one. So you need to be sure of the focus, right? I can just rotate it as well. For example, I can type here to window one. And this one is a stop here and oh. Alright, so I have window one, hash top, window three, and then this pink. So I can just move it here on the right, super and R, and you can see. Now, the window which was here has shifted on the right. The window on the right has shifted down, and the windows on the on which was on down has shifted to left. So it's a clockwise movement. So I can just type windows R and I can have a clockwise movement. And then you can see after four moves, it will come to its original position. I can have anti-clockwise movement as well. If I press shift R super. So in this way, you can cycle the windows as well, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. I can zoom to one of the terminal by pressing shift control Z and it will zoom that terminal for me. Keep in mind the other terminals, um, keep in mind the other terminal are still working in the background. So I can just press Control Shift Z again and it would be, you know, resized to its original size. So we saw how to move the windows clockwise and, and anti-clockwise. Now let's see how you can zoom to a terminal. I can just press Control Shift C and it will zoom out. And if I want to resize it, I can just press Control Shift Z, it will zoom it back. So this is very handy if you want to you know, just focus on one of the window at, at, at a given point of time. You can also toggle the scroll bar with Control Shift S. If suppose scroll bar is missing, then probably you can do Control Shift S and this scroll bar will be reverted. I'm not going to try it because it will stop the recording. <laughs> so another thing is suppose if I type this command, oh, so if I type command tree, and if I want to find something in this, I can just type control shift F and it will give me this search, uh, you can say search window. And for, probably I can look for anything. You can select match case, wrap, etc. And if I just click on videos, oh, so see here, found it now. So you can search in any text given in that buffer. Now. Till now, it was mostly about Windows management and the some functionality that have been provided by Terminator. Now let's come to the interesting part. Let me just clear it, all the windows here. I will just close it. All right. So the functionality that I'm telling you about is called grouping and broadcasting. So the first thing that I will show you is broadcasting. So suppose if I click on broadcast all, you will see an interesting thing that this a uh, window or you can say this terminal is displayed as red and rest all of them are blue. So this is my main focused uh, terminal and rest of them are receiving the broadcast. So suppose if I type clear, oh, that's not the best way. If I type PWD, 
and you can see it has been broadcasted to all other three uh, terminal windows so in this way if you have maybe if you open more terminals and if I type clear this would be broadcasted on all of them so this is a very handy way if you are working with multiple terminals at the same time but it can be dangerous as well the other functionality is first of all let me just click on broadcast off and as soon as I click on broadcast off you see all other windows have turned gray so just keep in mind if it's blue it's receiving the broadcast if it's gray if it's not receiving the broadcast the other functionality that I was talking about was grouping so I can create a group let me clear create a group one so every time you try to create a group it will select a Greek letter alpha beta theta epsilon etc and I can attach the terminals to any group let me just close some extra windows here all right so I'm with two by two grid here now you can see these three are attached to group one let me just create another group called group two and what I do I will just now these two terminals on the top left and bottom right and on the bottom left and top right are part of same group and as soon as you see I select a one terminal for group two the other one goes blue all right so if I select on broadcast group see the complete bar is now colored with red and blue so this is broadcasted in group two all right and this is broadcasted in group one now the problem with this is that you cannot have broadcast into specific group it has only you can say feature called broadcast group and either you can have broadcast to all the groups or none of the groups so I can just uh, click on none and remove all the groups so now the groups have been cleared so this is very handy if you're working with multiple terminals or probably if you're working in networking with multiple hosts you can create groups of same type of network equipment and you can use similar commands to broadcast it to those equipments as well good if you're working with programming as well if you want to compile some probably two directories at the same time you can use it if you want to you know if you're using git as well if you're using two directories and you want to perform some application you can say some uh, operation at the same time in those two directories you can use it as well so this was all about grouping and I've covered most of the stuff related to Terminator. One thing that I would like to mention it as well that you can probably create some Windows title as well. If so, so I've covered most of the part of Terminator. I would recommend to use it and give a feedback how you like. I would say probably like using Terminator. What what was the part that you did not enjoy? There might be some learning curve, but I think you will get used to it, but it's very handy. So hope you enjoy this video. It was useful for you. And in case it was, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video soon. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.